Hello, time for a thir Saturday, <laughs> Thursday, Saturday afternoon edition of Mornings with Stanley. Late afternoon, it's almost supper time. Got both the dogs in here. It's you know, another cold day. We went for a walk this morning. I finally get my did my rowing this afternoon, which is why it's taken me so long to do this. I just goofed off. Well, I didn't just, just goof off. Did some cleaning up in the house and um, also participated in a worldwide, I don't know how many, how worldwide it was, but, um, prayer, prayer, online prayer thing for, um, for Ukraine. Um, put on by a Methodist group I hadn't heard of, heard of before. But anyway, as, a, as several bishops were involved and um, people, I'm sure from, at least from all over the, our country, and, and well, one of the, one of the bishops is from Germany, so at least one international bishop. And I'm not sure what the first guy was talking about where he was from. Anyway, um, and Bishop Louisiana, Bishop, I think she might be retired. She used to be in Illinois. And then Bishop in Baltimore, Washington, and the Peninsula, Delaware conferences. Anyway, and a couple other people, lay people participated as well, or led, I should say. Stanley's just wanting to be petted. I don't know why. Bless his heart. He must be, he must feel like he's been neglected today. Have you been neglected, Stanley? Stanley, have you been neglected? Have you been neglected? Bless your heart. Bless his poor little pee-picking heart. Okay, I'm gonna pick, kick you. Oh, he's just gonna leave. Okay, he's just gonna leave. Let's see if he comes back in or if he's gonna know. No, Stanley, go on. Good boy. <laughs> uh, maybe I wouldn't have to get up and and um <laughs> and close the door, but I did. Okay, this is Saturday, of week 37. He gives me pennies every day. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at length you have revived your concern for me. That's Philippians 4.10. Here is a rejoicing in the Lord, which is different from other rejoicings we have found in this epistle. The other rejoicings were general rejoicings over permanent relationships in the Lord. This rejo rejoicing is over a specific thing that had happened. Their concern for him had been, had, their concern for him had revived. Are these rejoicings on the same level and of the same importance? No. The rejoicing mentioned in this verse is more akin to happiness than to joy. Happiness is dependent on happenings and is therefore occasional. Joy is dependent on relationships with Christ and therefore permanent. We should let our weight down on joy, but not on happiness. Happenings bring, bring happiness very often. Happiness, happenings bringing happiness very often don't happen. Yet many re reiterate happenings to prove the goodness of God to them instead of reiterating the permanent joy which comes from living in union with Christ. This is a well of joy. The other is a shower dependent stream which may dry up. I love my daddy. He gives me pennies every day, said a little fellow. That was penny love. Later, he will probably say, I love my daddy. That is personality love. If Paul had depended too much on people's concern for him, he would have been dis disillusioned and frustrated. In the end, people let him down. If, at my first offense, no one took my part. All deserted me. May it not be charged against them, but the Lord stood by me and gave me strength to proclaim the word fully. The Lord will rescue me from every evil and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever, as 2 Timothy 4, 16 through 18. Here the concern of people for him had collapsed, but Paul didn't collapse. His joy was in two things. His life work was being fulfilled and he belonged to an eternal kingdom. His joy was intact and flowing in spite of. Here's our prayer for today. Oh, Jesus, I thank you for the happenings along the way, but I thank you most of all for the way, 
the way that leads home. I'm at home in you, going home. In you counts. All else is marginal. I thank you. Thank you. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, my happiness does not depend on happenings, but upon Christ, who is above happenings. Jesus is Lord.